I'm standing here with Paul Babb at the Maxon booth at SIGGRAPH, makers of Cinema 4D. Hi, Paul. How are you? Hey, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How has SIGGRAPH been so far? You know, surprisingly busy. It's a great, there's been a great crowd. Uh, we've, been, we've been hopping since they opened the doors. That's wonderful. Um, something I've kind of been curious about and would love your feedback on is um, just how important this show, excuse me, how important this show is um, now that we're in this age where you can get information on on the web you know at your whim uh, but it's still so important to come and have this back and forth face to face if you could speak a little bit on that from your perspective sure actually uh, around just before NAB I wrote a blog for the website Maxon's website about uh, attending shows and why it is important to, to attend shows and there's nothing you can't replace that one-on-one -on -one experience and for us it's great to spend times directly with the the artists um, it's also uh, meeting partners uh, having that time to sit down and talk about things and work out issues with partners um, it's the one time I can sit down and watch artists work in the application and show us what they're doing. I mean, we, we get things for demo reels, we get images, but when you get to sit down and watch some of the best cinema artists and watch how they use the application, they're, we learn new te techniques from them as well. So it's, I, you know, really this one-on-one this -on -one is, is incredibly valuable. I, can, I agree completely. Yeah. And your booth has been very busy and yeah. you have a lot of people coming through to give presentations and give talks. What kinds of things do you have going on? Um, what, who do you have coming through and what are they talking about? Oh, well, okay. So uh, for NAB and SIGGRAPH, we bring in 18 to 20 different artists. Yeah. Uh, th this show, we've got uh, independent filmmakers. We've got motion graphic artists. We've got visual effects artists. We've got people working in VR. Um, we've got pretty much the gambit. We, yeah. try to get, we try to get a good variety of artists uh, that are working in different areas um, and sharing their techniques and things like that. Uh, we're streaming it live. So if for the people that aren't at the show, they can go to c4dlive.com and watch the presentations live. And for those who didn't get to the show and can't watch the stream, we save them and we put them on Cineversity afterwards. I love that. It's extremely accessible, all the information. Um, what are you bringing to the show this year? It sounds like you have a lot of new updates to, you're excited about. Yeah. We actually uh, announced Release 18 yesterday, which has got a bunch of great new features. It's probably one of the most feature-rich versions that we've probably had in a few years. It's, it's got a lot of great stuff. And But Maxon hired, uh, oh gosh, almost, I think almost 20 new programmers in the last couple of years. And it, it takes time for, you know, programming to happen and people to learn the architecture and start building things. And we're starting to see the, the fruit of their labor, which is great. Some, yeah. some really nice features are starting to come out. But yeah, there's, we uh, announced it yesterday. We got a great response from the community. And yeah, we've got a few guys showing off some of those features on the stream as well. That's cool. And can you speak on one or two of them that might be most pertinent? Sure. Voronoi fracturing, which is, uh, you know, exploding things, blowing things up, chopping things up, which, which, yeah, fun stuff, which is built into MoGraph. So that means it's uh, non-destructive, it's uh, interactive, can be changed on the fly anytime. Uh, there's some new knife tools for modeling. There's new shaders, like a thin film shader, which enables you to do things like put that oily, oily slick on a, on a bubble or on a, a puddle of water, that type of thing, or fingerprints on a car. Um, we've got a new shadow catcher. We've got, um, uh, we're uh, integration with substance. Oh, and the motion tracker. Uh, motion tracker is a big one. They actually yeah. added a motion tracker so you can track in footage, track objects, and then replace them with 3D objects. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, well, our users are definitely familiar. You are a partner of ours, and um, but for people who might not be aware, or want to find out more information, what website should they go to? They should go to maxon.net. Maxon.net. That sounds great. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you.